size. Putting the expense in to a crate that size, even though it's only gonna be used for a short amount of time, makes sense for us. That being said, finding a crate that is similar in bouncy little puppy, I'm here to talk to you about crate sizes. We get the question a lot, what size crate should I have for my new puppy or my six month old puppy or what size of crate should I have for my year old dog or adult dog? Crate sizes and why it's important not to just get the biggest size crate right off the bat. So we're using in this demo, Roughland crates, uh, we, have used Roughland crates in the past. They hold up really well. And this puppy crate, I think, is almost 10 years old, actually. Uh, but for us, we constantly are raising puppies, right, Trix? She's just one in a long line of many puppies we've raised over the years. Putting the expense in to a crate that size, even though it's only gonna be used for a short amount of time, makes sense for us. That being said, finding a crate that is similar in bouncy little puppy, similar in size to this crate to start out with that's more inexpensive would be my recommendation if you're only going to have one puppy in the next few years. Obviously, you can see that she is no longer in this size crate. This is the small. As she stands next to it, she's way taller than this crate. This is what we start our eight-week-old puppies out in. Then they transition to the medium size. Again, they outgrow this size fairly quickly. Trix is 16 weeks old. Come here. And I'll show you how she fits in this size crate. Kennel, come on. Good girl. So she does have to duck her head a little bit to get into this size of crate, which for short amounts of time is really okay still, especially if you have a puppy that's maybe struggling with potty training, because a big reason that we recommend having different size crates through this process is so that your puppy doesn't think that they have so much space that they can potty in one end and play in the other. So if you're struggling with potty training, having a crate that's just on the smaller side will help with that process. So come on out. Next size crate is this intermediate size crate. And this is actually the size of crate that Little Miss Trix is currently in. She's got, yeah, she's like, don't put me in a crate again. She's got enough room to, <laughs> what do you have on your nose, dust? But to stand up and not even touch her head in the top of that crate easily. So she's got plenty of room in a crate this size. And this would be the size from, you know, 16 weeks on that she could be into about a year of age. So then this is the large size crate. And this is what most of our full grown adult dogs stay in when they're crated. As you can see, Vex, he's a, you know, decent sized male short hair, and he can fit in this size crate without any problems. He's a little tall for it if he's standing up which airline requirements have different regulations, um, but this is a good sized crate for him to be in, especially if he's traveling or something like that. Tricks. So that he is safe and can find and not bing bonging around in a crate if you were ever to get in an accident. Go ahead and kennel back up and show them how you fit in there. Stay, uh -uh, stay, just show. See, he can stand up. He doesn't touch his back or anything like that in that sized crate. I know that Roughland does have another size above this crate. We personally don't use that size crate. We typically use the small, medium, intermediate, and large, and they transition as they grow. Now, if you can only get one or two crates, maybe getting a medium and the large, but again, like I mentioned, Having the appropriate size crate is really gonna help you when it comes to house training, potty training, and crate training your puppy. Lastly, I wanted to mention that the size of the crate really is going to also depend on the size of your dog. We are breeding German short haired pointers. We are raising typically German short haired pointers. And this is the size 
at their ages that fit appropriately. If you've got a larger breed dog than a short hair, you're gonna have to adjust. As well, if you have a smaller breed short hair, or a smaller breed other than a short hair, you're also going to have to adjust your sizes. So, Trick says, I'm about ready to get out. Being quiet, good girl. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer. This cute little bouncy puppy is Trix, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.